Hello, welcome back to another video. So today is the day to fill my pill cases. So I thought I would make a little video and show you guys all of the supplements and pills that I'm putting into my cases and what I'm taking them for. Um, for those of you who are new here, my name's Rachel. I'm a certified yoga instructor and I specialize in yoga for chronic pain and chronic illness. So you'll find a lot of yoga videos here on my channel, but I also have chronic illness myself. So I like to share my journey with you on here just so that you guys know that you're not alone. We're all in this together. Um, so yeah, um, here's a little snap snapshot of all of the supplements I'm going to be putting into my pill cases today, but I'll go through each one and tell you what they're for as I'm filling up. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with all of the vitamins. <laughs> um, I, I mostly do naturopathy just because that seems to work best for my body. I do have a couple of prescription drugs in here, but mostly this is vitamins, herbs, um, naturopathic supplements, because that tends to work best for my body. Um, right now, my main focus is treating Lyme disease. And um, I've also been treating a really bad persistent candida overgrowth. Um, so that's been my main focus right now, but I do also have POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Um, so I take a lot of stuff for that as well. Um, so we'll start with the vitamins. <laughs> um, I am taking this vitamin called Nutrafol. Um, it's marketed as a hair, uh, hair growth vitamin, but I really loved all of the ingredients. Um, it has all of the, the vitamins that I really needed, and it's also got collagen, ashwagandha, which is a really good adaptogen for your adrenal glands. Um, I've also, I have a history of adrenal insufficiency, which is being treated um, successfully now, so um, I'm not really having symptoms of that anymore. Um, but ashwagandha has been a really good ingredient for that. Um, it's, it, yeah, it's just got a whole bunch of stuff in here that's really good. It's also got um, Japanese knotweed, which is an herb that can be used to treat Lyme disease. And I didn't even know that when I picked this, but um, I, I started using this vitamin before I even got diagnosed with Lyme disease. So I was like, oh, hey, I'm, I already got a head start here. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this one, that's like my main multivitamin. I'm also taking vitamin C for Lyme disease. I'm taking iron because I tend to be like on the low end of normal for iron. I'm also taking a vitamin B complex and B12 because um, I'm, I'm mostly vegan, mostly vegan vegetarian. So I like to make sure I'm getting all the things I need. I'm also going to throw a little zinc in there. So yeah, um, those are going in. I, I already choked and gagged on my pills this morning and Jared got to watch me spit up water all over myself and the couch. So that was a fun time. Um, I'm putting these on the wrong one. Hold on. We've, we've got a color coordinated system here. Okay. Um, this, this hair growth vitamin, I do feel like it has actually helped with my hair as well. Um, <clears throat> I had issues with my thyroid for a while and I feel like that was causing my hair to kind of fall out. So I feel like it's helping a little bit with that. Okay. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything on the floor. It's that kind of day, guys. So for those of you who are new to the channel and new to me, um, I do live in a camper. Um, my boyfriend and I are renovating a fifth wheel camper right now. Um, this is our bedroom. It's kind of a mess right now. And it's not like we haven't done everything to it that we want to quite yet. Um, we still need to replace the floor. It <laughs> has this really awful blue carpet. Um, so we've gotten everything painted, but we still want to replace the floor. And then our goal is to have everything finished by the fall so we can start traveling. Um, 
we're both spoonies, so you know, we have to go at our own pace. No rush. I actually really like this V12. It's a sublingual and it tastes like candy. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of my supplements from like, my doctor has his own like, it's like a, it's like a physician website where you can go and order your supplements from and like, they're supposedly like really high end, like tested supplements, but they're hella expensive. Like it's ridiculous, but I'm like, I'm trying to be compliant just so that like, I know I absolutely tried everything that I possibly could, but I got a little frustrated with him the last time I seen him. Cause I was like, listen, these supplements are ridiculously expensive and like can you tell me which ones to prioritize because like I can't afford to do all of them and he gave me this whole spiel about how like well this is an investment in your health and you know if you make this investment you're gonna feel better so then maybe you can be more productive and work more and make more money I'm like that sounds great in theory but like that doesn't change the fact that I don't have the money for all of this stuff right now <laughs> like it just he just makes the most ableist comments to me sometimes it just makes me really irritated like I don't know he he just he kind of has this attitude of like it's like a false compassion. It feels like we're like, it feels more like pity rather than like he's empathizing with me and on my team. Um, so that's just, that's just been really frustrating to deal with. But I am grateful that he at least got me my Lyme, dis Lyme disease diagnosis and has been helping me treat the candida infection because I've seen so many doctors for that and gotten nowhere so okay so now we're moving more into the herbal stuff um and I guess I'll talk about my prescriptions that I take so right now I'm taking fluconazole um which is also called diflucan it's for the the candida overgrowth. I've been alternating between that and my statin. And fortunately, these don't give me really severe side effects. Um, the fluconazole kind of makes me a little dizzy and like off kilter. Um, but the nice statin I don't have any side effects with, which is really good, really nice. Um, so I'm almost finished with the diflucan. Um, fluconazole is the same thing. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Um, there. Um, so I'm almost done with that one and I'm going to be going back to the Nystatin. Um, and then also taking, I just started this one for Candida. It's called Candicidal. It's got oregano, sodium, caprolate, ginger, turmeric, and olive extract. And like, I've taken versions of this in the past, but again, I just kind of wanted to humor him and be a compliant patient so that he can't be like, well, if you're still sick, it's your fault. <laughs> I'm just going into a little medical debt for spite. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and then the other pharmaceutical I take is called low-dose naltrexone. Um, this has been like my miracle pill, you guys. Um, so I've, I've taken herbs for a long time for my adrenal insufficiency and my thyroid. And I definitely saw improvement with that, but this has like completely eliminated those issues for me. I no longer have antibodies that are attacking my thyroid or my adrenals. Um, and all of my thyroid numbers and all of my adrenal numbers are normal. <laughs> so that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I take that once a day. Um, Loda naltrexone is normally used for, um, it's normally prescribed to, where am I? What am I doing? See, I can't multitask. I can't do two things at once. Okay. Um, 
Naltrexone is usually prescribed for people who have like opioid addiction, um, but they found out that in low doses it can help to treat a whole bunch of chronic health conditions like, like chronic pain, um, autoimmune conditions. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to check it out because um, chances are whatever chronic illness you have it's probably on that list. Um, I, I really have had a good experience with this one so um, I did have side effects like the first two weeks I took it, um, but then those went away completely and now I don't have any side effects like ever. What day is it today? Today is when Wednesday? It's a Wednesday? Okay. Yes, it's Wednesday. <laughs> okay. I definitely wanted to make sure to get this done because I'm going on a I'm going on a trip with some friends this weekend. Jared and I are going on a trip with some friends, like a little couples trip this weekend. My bestie, Jessica, if you're watching this, I love you. Um and I can't wait to see you. Um we we actually met through Sleepy Santosha, so, um, and just became best friends. So I'm really grateful for this platform and all of the connections that I've gotten to make uh, with you guys. Hold on, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, okay, here we go. Candicidal, going in. Um, so another thing that I do, um, I do use cannabis. Um, I, I made a video about that recently answering all of your guys' questions about it. Um, and I got a question on the video asking how I consume cannabis. Um, and I consume it in a lot of different ways. Um, I feel like that tends to help with, um, like getting the maximum benefit. Um, so like different ways of consuming cannabis will affect you slightly differently. Um, and sometimes if you like take a break from one way of consuming it and then go back to it, it's like more effective. I, I hope that makes sense. Um, so like alternating the way that you consume cannabis will help with effectiveness and potency. Um, so, um, one of the ways I like to consume cannabis is through edibles. Um, I like to use um, like little candies that I get from the dispensary gummies. I use the low dose ones, so like five milligrams or less because I'm very, very sensitive <laughs> and I have a low tolerance, which is kind of a blessing in disguise. Um, but um, right now I'm really enjoying these little, these little pills that I got from the dispensary. They have a little caffeine in them and they're just really nice. I feel like um, THC and caffeine together is like the best combination. Um, so I might take one of those in the morning and then maybe smoke a little bit before bed. But like throughout the day, I don't usually like, I'm not like smoking all throughout the day. Um, usually if like I get the right amount in the morning, I still feel like the body high all day long. And even though like I'm not having like the head high and feeling like loopy or anything like that, I still feel like the pain relief effects of it. Um, so I really enjoy that a lot. Um, so that's, I'm not gonna put that in my pill case though, um, because some days I kind of just, I want to do something else. I also take tincture. I also, um, Jared and I sometimes will make our own edibles. So I just kind of go with what I'm feeling in the moment. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, I do take probiotics to help with the candida and keep my digestion running smooth. Um, right now I'm taking, I have like three different Oh my god, my stupid nose ring is falling. It's not, it's fake. It's not even real. <laughs> okay, probiotics. Um, I'm taking like three different probiotics right now. Um, this is just one of them. Two of the other ones are in the fridge, so I don't put them 
in my pillowcases, but this one doesn't have to be refrigerated. This strain specifically I have read is really good for candida, so that's why I picked this one. Um, and then I'm also taking Trifala. This is an Indian herb. Well, it's technically made up of three different herbs. That's why it's called Trifala. Um, this helps with digestion and can also help to kill candida. Um, so let's put both of these in my morning one. Having this pill, these pill cases keeps me so much more organized, but sometimes I still forget to take my pills, you guys. Like, I just, I don't know if it's just executive dysfunction or what it is, but sometimes I completely forget. Also, um, I think I forgot to show it before because I, I don't have the bottle right now. I just have the, the pills left. Um, licorice root is another one I take in the morning that helps with adrenal insufficiency and it can also help with POTS because it works like flugicortisone. Um, so it helps the body to retain sodium, which can help elevate your blood pressure, which can then help to diminish the POTS symptoms. I also supplement with pink Himalayan sea salt and you can make capsules with the salt if you want to buy empty vegetable capsules and put the salt into the capsules and take them that way. You can do that. Um, I find that I'm more likely to get an upset stomach when I do it this way. So I tend to just mix about three quarters of a teaspoon of sea salt with 16 ounces of water and I just drink it and I seem to tolerate that a lot better. And this helps to um, treat POTS. So this is one of the therapies I do for POTS. Um, and since I've been able to tolerate oral hydration, I no longer have to get the infusions that I was getting for a while. Okay, we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. Okay, so the most important supplement I'm taking right now is this Tick Immune Support from Samsara. This is a... This is an Indian Sanskrit word, samsara. Um, it means the, it's like the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Um, that's not why I picked this, this supplement. Um, I picked this supplement because all of the ingredients follow the Lyme protocol that I am following, which is, um, I'm going to show you the book. Everything's a mess, but I know where everything is. Okay, it's called Unlocking Lime by William Rawls. This has been a really, really wonderful book. Um, my my doctor, who gets on my nerves, but <laughs> is still a really good doctor, told me that if I follow the protocol in this book, I will cure my Lyme disease. So I was like, okay, that is a really bold statement to make and I appreciate this vote of confidence. Um, so I'm taking this supplement because it includes all of the herbs that Dr. Rawls recommends in his book. Um, by the way, I'm going to leave links in the description box to all of these supplements if you are interested in trying them. Um, this one I take twice a day right now. I've been increasing my dosage really gradually because even though these are herbal medicines, they're still really strong and really powerful. Um, so even though I've been going really slowly, they can still trigger a healing crisis, a um, Herxheimer reaction. Uh, when all of the bacteria start to die, they release toxins and it can overwhelm your system. So you want to go nice and slow with these guys. Um, fortunately, my die-off symptoms haven't been too bad, um, but I do notice like every time I increase these herbs, I have die-off symptoms. So, I mean, in a way, it's kind of a good sign, you know, it lets you know that it's working. 
but it's been making my recovery process very like up and down. So like one day I'll feel really good. The next day I'm just exhausted. So it's just been kind of all over the place. And <laughs> um, so I've been, I've just been having to say no to a lot of commitments and like, these are things that I really want to be doing, but like, I just haven't been able to, so I've had to say no to a lot of things. Um, okay, let's see, what's the last thing? I think this is the last one, it's the enzymes. These help digest food, um, which is good because I want all my nutrients to go to me and my body and not to the candida or any of the bacteria living in my body, um, the bad bacteria living in my body. Um, I have also read that taking all of these herbs and digestive enzymes can help to break down biofilm. So whenever you have candida or Lyme disease or any kind of um, illness that involves microbes, these microbes make little colonies together and form biofilms, which is like a protective film over themselves so that your immune system can't attack them. So we want to break down all that biofilm so that your immune system and all of the supplements you're using to support your immune system can go in and kill the bugs. So yeah, I think, I think we got everything. I just talked a lot. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you do to keep yourself from choking on your pills in the morning. <laughs> I don't know how Jared can dry swallow pills and he's fine. I tried to take a pill that I take every morning with water and I almost die. So, um, okay. Thanks for watching and um, I hope to see you again soon.